What's going on everybody? Hopefully your week's going well. Not too sure what day the videos are going to post out in what order yet until I get them all done and figure it out. But I do apologize. Overtime did not happen last night. The game was delayed and then I talked with Joey and I was like, man, it's going to be late. Um, if guys got to work tomorrow, especially East Coast and Central Time... I don't want to run it late on it, so we, we're just going to, we canceled it last night, we're still going to be doing it Friday, I'm going to talk to him, we're going to try to get a different time down, maybe 10 p.m. Eastern, uh, just to come on a little bit earlier, now that our daylight, I guess you could say, is shrinking, and we'll see how that works, we'll see how it works, but I know a lot of you guys have already caught this, um, I'm starting to add new cards to the store prior to... The once a month like fix sell auction type deal we do. So this month it's going to be on a 23rd is what's ringing in my head off top of my head. Uh, it should be a Saturday. I'll get that time posted out as we get closer. And then we won't do anything in November until Black Friday just like we ran last year. Alright, just in case you guys are missing any of the stuff that's going in the store, ExtremeCardBreaks.com. Let's just show you some of the newer stuff in. Ernie Banks, 68 tops. PSA 8 was put in. Uh, this year's Stadium Club Nolan Ryan Auto. I actually have a, uh, another one of these, so I'm trying not to hoard like I usually do. Especially on PC players. Soto from this year's Clearly Authentic Black and White, numbered out of 70. Wade Boggs, Dynasty went in there. Um, that's the Zach Wilson that I pulled out of Pro Set, believe it, just because his. Numbers are horrible. Uh, Pokemon Celebration ETBs are in there. Santana, Bowman, Chrome, which might have gone down. I have to check the price on to it. Uh, Russell Wilson, rookie. That's the Bowman uh, gold version. A couple more. Herbert, rookie. Burrow, rookie. Die Cut Maroon. Another Russell Wilson, Topps Prime, rookie. Just look and see what's on the first page. Oh, Jordan Love die cut. So a few things. I'm starting to pop stuff in slowly. As it comes in through the mail, I'll get it put in. Uh, I've only been trying to hit like one show a month, maybe two at the most, just due to drive times. And now that my mom's gone uh, for about a month till I go pick her back up, it's a little bit harder driving in different areas and trying to worry about, you know, hurry up getting home and stuff like that to make sure everything's settled back here. Especially if I have... Orders coming in or stuff being shipped out. Alright, on to the topic of today. So, I was out just browsing around and I came across a new company called Hobby Armor. Um, no way is this a paid promotion or anything towards them at all. Um, as most of you guys know, when I ship, I like to put cardboard around the cards, whether it's slabbed or not. Just add a little bit added protection. Let me tell you, to cut these things out are a pain, and I was looking at a couple different places that you could buy pre-cut cardboard. Started pricing it out, and I was like, man, unless I order like, you know, over a thousand or two thousand of these, it really does, I must just use scissors to cut. Anybody that knows about cutting cardboard, it's painful. It takes a long time, especially if you're doing, like, say, eBay auctions like I used to do, and you gotta cut, like... 80 pieces of cardboard from boxes. It's just time consuming. And I, I've been in the market to try to find something like this for a while. And I actually found something. Um, they're exclusively only on Amazon right now. I'm waiting for them to do their wholesale account to see what the price range is going to be after that. I want to say this cost me like 19 bucks. It has 100 protectors, which means they're only good for top loaders. I think uh, one touches may fit in this. Let me see real quick. Yeah, they'll cover a one touch too. Um, they're decently kind of thick overall. Pretty good overall for protection for looking thin. I mean, there's not a whole lot of wobble to it. Pretty nice overall. Um... Like I said, there's 100 of them in there. means I can ship out 50. I don't have to worry about cutting stuff. If you're a representative of Hobby Armor, look at doing some PSA and Beckett and STC ones. and I'm definitely a buyer. And I'm sure a lot more people who sell a lot and move a lot of cards would buy this because, you know, we're just cutting up boxes all the time. And, you know, 
for like I think it was 19 bucks. This just saves me a lot of time. I'll put the link to the Amazon piece into the store since they're exclusively only on it. You can uh, go on, look up hobbyarmor.com. It'll talk about their product and everything. Like I said, if they, once they do a wholesale, I'm probably going to look at getting into it. Um, I don't believe I'm going to make this, you know, sold on the website. I'll, I'll see what it is. Um, if people are, if it's, if I can get it at a better price and, you know, try to see if they have an MSRP that I have to sell it at, well, I'll look into it and see. But if I could offer it to you guys for a little bit cheaper than what's going on out there, uh, I'm sure Amazon takes a piece of their pie and everything onto it as well. So maybe get them a little bit cheaper. But I mean, at a hundred, a hundred a piece of cardboard. When you look at, it, I basically paid nineteen cents a pop. So to ship one card out, talking thirty eight cents, saves me some time. I don't have to sit there sharpening the shears up as much anymore. But pretty cool product, pretty cool. I mean, I like it. it. Comes into its own box. It had cellophane over top of it. I mean, yeah, you can see like towards the end, some of these are bent on the corners and stuff. But this stuff's gonna bend when it ships like that, anyhow. But really, really good way to ship with, like I've always done if you've gotten stuff from me. And I know I've talked to a few people about this before. And I'm always like, if you ever see something, hit me up onto it. And nobody's ever really found it. And lo and behold, I found something. And I figured I'd share this out. Again, it's not a paid promotion to anybody out there. I'm not being paid to represent them, talk good about it or anything or bad. I mean, overall, not bad for price time it saves me time saves me boxes and everything else out there cutting up because a lot of times i use my ebay boxes that i get free per quarter and i'll cut up about oh probably half and half the stack in there just to ship out but it was if they could come out with psa sgc and beckett size of these i mean this this is the greatest thing in the world because it's so time it saves you so much time when you're dealing with cutting out and you're, you know, if you're setting off, you know, a hundred plus orders a month, you know, it, it it really starts benefiting you to where you can concentrate in other areas. Or if you just want to make sure you keep your stuff a little bit more secure when you send, especially one top loader card. I mean, you still got to do your proper thing. Either put a piece of painter's tape over the top, team bag it, whatever everybody does. I prefer the team bag because a lot of times people, I've seen scotch tape and freaking everything else going across tops of top loaders, which, you know, again, just ruins it, but still I put a new one at the end. But yeah, I figured I'd share this with everybody um, in case you're interested into it. I'll put a link in the description. I don't know how many other people have been looking for something like this, but good concept. <laughs> you know, probably about a year ago, I was talking with a couple guys. I said, man, we should make something like this, and... Somebody jumped uh, jumped on to doing this. Um, I, I think they'll do over well, do pretty well with making this up. I mean, pretty cool concept. I like it. Saves me time. Cost me a little extra money, but I'll take it over time any day. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. I'll see you guys Friday night overtime with Joey. If anybody else wants to come in, I can get all of us on the screen. So just hit me up by email. And I'll let you bounce in on overtime with us. Other than that, catch y'all later.